we left Kashan in the morning and hid into Ispahan, visiting traditional Apiana village on the way. The taxi cost was $30 for a total distance of 270 kilometers, and it was organized by hotel. The driver had a quick stop at Rose Valley. Kashan is one of well-known cities that produces pure rose water and rose essential oil. It is believed that rose water was first made in Persia, using evaporation and distillation methods. Nowadays, roses are widely used in the perfume industry. The season for picking rose flowers is April-May, but there were some quite few left in the valley. The smell of roses in the air, the wind dancing through the willows, cozy little stair-like red houses, people with traditional pattern clothes and their charming accent. It's all about village Abiyane. It was built on the foothills of Karkas mountain, located 2300 meters above sea level. The village is oriented in north-south direction. Openings to the southern side makes perfect sense to get enough sunlight during their harsh January winter. The word Abiyane has been derived from the word Viona, meaning on the local dialect a willow grove. Most of residents speak Middle Persian, an early version of Farsi, that largely disappeared some centuries ago. In the recent years, Abiyane's permanent population has dwindled to less than 300 individuals and 150 households, consisting of mostly old people. Abiyane village has a history that spans over 2,500 years, dating back to the ancient Persians, that makes it one of the most ancient human habitats in Iran. Its strategic location along the trade routes contributed to its significance throughout various periods, from the Achaemenid and Sasanian empires to the Islamic era. During the Arab's invasion of Persia in the 7th century, many followers of Zoroastrian religion left their houses and fled to the surrounding mountains or deserts to escape forced conversion to Islam. The economy of Abyane is involved in agriculture, horticulture and animal husbandry. The fields and gardens are irrigated by seven aqueducts. The products of this village include wheat, barley, potato and many sorts of fruit, particularly apples, pears, almonds, apricots, plums and walnuts. There are also now over 30 carpet weaving workshops in the village. The village's remote location and isolation have helped to preserve the culture and tradition of its founders. The women's traditional costume typically consists of a white lawn scarf with a colorful floral design, which completely covers their hair and shoulders. They also wear colorful dresses along with a special pair of pants. In winter, a velvet vest is added to this outfit. Men wear traditional clothes too, which is consist of black vest and white trousers. The Abiyane village appears to be a multi-story village with up to four levels in certain places. The rooms feature such like wooden windows and frequently have patios and veranda made of walnut wood that look out onto the alleyways. In this unique architecture, the roof of one's house makes another house's patio. That's what gives the village the stair-shaped look. The ancient village is a model of narrow and sloped lanes and crumbling mud brick houses with latest windows and fragile balconies that cling to the slope. The terrain around Abiyane contains iron oxides which give it a reddish color and because the houses are built with mud bricks, they have the same color as the rock above the village. I keep saying in my videos about Iran that Iranian people are very, very friendly. No need to have a common language to establish a quick connection and become friends. And of course, my mom was included and enjoyed this party too.
If you enjoyed watching this video, I encourage you to subscribe, click like and hit notification bell button to get updated of the new releases.